What's up, Mosh Pit? After, like, I don't know how many tries, like, 15 tries, because I suck at narrating. Here's this try, and I hope it goes well. <laughs> this battle is versus Miss Fame Media, and it's 5th gen now, not 4th gen. I hope you guys like that. Even though I'm using a Sandstorm team, I'm probably going to get hated on massively. But anyways, <laughs> I start out and go with a U-turn, because I don't want to stay in. Especially if it's, like, um, sashed in some way, since I've never battled one of these. And fortunately for me, I do get a crit, but... In the end, it pays off to be a pain in the ass, as you'll see. So now I bring in my hip out on, just to expect to get rocks up, because rocks are priority, I guess. <laughs> and he brings in a blaze skin. I thought something was kind of fishy about that, and I was predicting him to go for the protect, but he predicts me to do that and goes for the sword's answer, which is really good on his part. But for me, I know he can't kill me with anything unless he has like a hacked waterfall blaze again or something. But he goes for the high jump kick, and I'm like, okay, I can just roll you off now. But then he gets the crit. And now everything is looking awful for me. And yeah, it's basically Blaze sweep now. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna get swept by Blaze this entire video. Oh, man. Go sub to him. He subbed me with the Blaze He's really good. No. Nah. <laughs> but I wasn't really expecting the Stone Edge. Um, I was just expecting double stab and baton pass but he has a stone edge I guess and no baton pass so that caught me a bit off guard and now I'm gonna have to go into my Natori baiting him to go for the flare blitz and switch out to my teacher so all the damage goes down and I can revenge revenge kill him with something that's priority so he does go for the flare blitz and that's really good for me so I can get extra damage on him for two turns so yeah that damage, that damage goes down now and I'm looking pretty set because my plans are going well, so I do not actually get swept by this blaze again because that would be really bad. I would probably would have gotten swept by it if he went for the high jump kick instead of flare blitz. I was probably no, that wasn't really a misplay. He's just going for the safe move, you know. But that high jump kick right there was really risky in case of um it missed or not. But I don't know. It doesn't matter. He dies anyways. <laughs> so yeah, now I can just come in with my scissor and kill him off with a bullet punch, which is really good. But the bad thing about him living with that much HP is he can come in and revenge me with anything that he has that can kill my scissor. So anything he can bring in probably has flamethrower and he brings in this thing and it does have flamethrower and I can't hit it with the bullet punch otherwise it wouldn't kill and I would die. I knew I was going to need scissor maybe later so I switched into my Ran Rosu since my Notori is weak to flamethrower I do not want to switch into that because that would be pretty dumb. But yeah, I, I hit that. I It does about like half, so that's pretty good. At least it didn't do a little bit more. Otherwise, later, as you see, that would have been pretty crucial. I go for the safe EQ. Or safe EQ. Yeah, I just go for the EQ just to kill it off. But yeah, he brings in this Kajendo, and I thought he was going to fake out. Or I thought he was Scarf, so I wanted to go out to Minotaur to scout either or. And he goes for the Stone Edge, and it misses. So that was actually not good, because now I don't know what kind of uh, Kajendo he is. So I switched back, expecting it to be Scarf, since he didn't go for the Focus fo fo No. Fake out, sorry. <laughs> and he goes for the high jump kick, and I was like, shit, life or I was, I'm gonna die. But then I live at 3 HP, and he doesn't have rocks up, so that's fantastic for me. So I can fire off an EQ at anything that he switches in, or he stays in and take it. But he switches up to the Zuken. I'm really not sure why he did that, because it's just gonna get two hit KO'd. Even if he was Scarf, I'm Scarf, so. I don't know why he really did that, but. I don't know, either or something is about to die. I don't know, I'm just <laughs> anyways I kill that off and I think he was trying to fake me out um, thinking um, thinking I thought he had the fake out so I switched back in my Tori, Tori and he goes for the cherub I'm like damn what the hell I've never seen one of these before but yeah I don't really Wi-Fi battle like I only Wi-Fi battle just to post stuff and then yeah I, I never I never even seek agenda in the first place so it's just Ah oh, man, <laughs> that thing really messed me up. But anyways, now I'm just gonna switch back into my random Rosu and just hit him with the EQ. I think he really—I don't know if he was using random Pokemon or not—but he needs a Levitator because everything on his team gets hit by EQ, and a stab EQ is just outrageously strong, especially from random Rosu and Sandstorm. You guys may know that. I don't know if you know that, but yeah. Anyways, he brings in this thing. I don't know what it's called. Never even battled one before because it's pretty shitty from the looks of it and yeah 
So if I go for the EQ, you know, with the Intimidate, it does that much still. It's just like, damn. That thing is just awful. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I, I can just switch into my Scissor now and go for the Bullet, bullet Punch. So, that was a great game, Miss Fame Media, or Miss Fame. Go sub him, sub me, sub Mosh Pit. Hope you guys enjoyed. Right, come subscribe. That was a long outro, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> anyways, peace.